Hello and welcome back to Present to Connect. This is my presentation about how to do really good presentations to people. My name is Mark O'Mara and this is what most people find the most frightening part of presenting which is actually getting up in front of people and doing their talk. The most important thing, the most important piece of advice I can give you is to be present. Actually be in the room, don't hide in the dark, don't stare out the window, don't check your phone, don't stare at your feet. Just actually be there in the room with people. This shows people your respect, it shows your commitment, and it's how you connect to them. Look them in the eye, smile back at them, you know, just be in the moment. You'll find that actually communicating with people about something that you care about and you want them to believe can actually be quite exciting. It's not something to dread, but you have to be there in the room. If you wish yourself away, the audience will sense that and they won't really buy whatever it is that you're trying to tell them. So that's the most important thing. On a practical level, you should get there early and get to know the space that it is that you're presenting in. They're all different, and even if you've been in the space before in the audience, it is different when you're up the front. This is true of lecture theatres, it is true of classrooms. Find out where the PowerPoints are, find out if there's a microphone, find out how the lights work. Nobody's going to think you're foolish for saying, can I just have a look at this for a couple of minutes? This is a sign of somebody who is in control of their situation, it's not a sign of weakness, so get to know the space. Sometimes you're going to be in a space which is going to direct people's attention towards the pictures or the presentation and not towards you. This is a problem for you, but it is not the end of your presentation. Simply fight back against this. In this, um, I took this photo when I took some students to um, a university, and I'm really pleased to see that the speaker in the front is actually holding the student's attention because they're looking at her and not the images. You can do this. One way you can help yourself do this is you put up a big image to hold people's attention and then when you want them to look back at you, you have a black slide that you put up or a plain slide so that their eyes are drawn back to you because you are where the colour and movement is. So you will run into obstacles but fight back against them. It is important that you practice. Professional sports people practice, musicians practice. Anybody who's any good at anything practices. You might feel foolish practicing your presentation, but not as foolish as you'll feel when you stand up and you can't do it properly. It is important that you practice. When you are getting through your practice, you will find that some ideas are out of order. The slide pack is not set in stone. Go through and jumble it around. I always mix up this slide pack, not to keep it fresh for myself, but because I realize that idea A actually comes before B and not the other way around. Please be, keep your mind open to this. It's not fixed in stone. It's not a script. They're just slides that are up there while you're talking. Even when you're there in the theatre while you're waiting for your audience to arrive, if you have this lightning bolt and you think, oh my, I've got to, like, I've got to say this first, change your pack there and then. Go into bat with the very best pack that you've got. I reckon that if you stand there and you are glued to the laptop and you have to keep hitting the space bar or the arrow keys, then you can't fully connect with the audience. Get a clicker. If you are somebody who presents, even at one conference, a clicker is $30. Surely it's worth $30 to you, which is what you're going to spend on a halfway nice lunch to be seen, to be professional and actually engaging. With a clicker, you can roam around, you can make eye contact, you can use your hands. Don't chain yourself to the laptop. You see people do it and it's dreadful. They're never able to properly connect. And that's what your presentation is about. It is about connecting. Have a space program. Work out how you're going to use the space. What area will you walk around? How will you use your hands to show the difference between ideas? I'm going to make a little video that I'll put on this site about some of the techniques that you can use. But plan for how you're going to move. Don't plan to be locked on the spot. My personal advice is, if there's a lectern or something that you can stand behind, do not stand behind it. I think that somebody standing there rigidly locked is just a very bad idea. Get out and move your body. This is what human beings do when they communicate. We use body language. You should use it too. Eye contact is super important. It shows people that you're serious. It makes you look honest. It forges connection. Quite a useful tip if you're speaking to a big audience is rather than trying to make eye contact with everybody, pick three zones, the front, the middle and the back. Pick a person that you can spot, they might be wearing bright clothing, and make eye contact with them and then shift to the next person and then shift to the next person. So that rather than just staring out at a, br a blank crowd, which people can spot, you're actually making eye contact with individuals. And people notice that. And it says that you're switched on. 
so have a plan for eye contact too. Reading is good. I'm an English teacher, I believe in reading. But reading is not the same as talking to somebody. This boy here, he is, there's connection going on alright between him and the person who wrote the comic. When you stand up and read, and you are reading your own words, you are limiting the connection that goes on between you and the audience. You need to talk to people. In very few situations in life do we stand and just read to people. We read our kids' stories, but that's about it. When we are trying to communicate with people in earnest, you make eye contact and you just tell them what you have to say. It doesn't matter if they're not beautifully crafted poetic words. You are making up for that with the eye contact and the attention you're paying them. If you listen to nothing else I've got to say, listen to this. Do not read your presentation to people. If the words are that important that they come out in that order, then send them a, an email with a script in it and get them to read it. Because that's the way you'll get them across. Don't make them turn up and hear you present so that you can read to them. People can read themselves. What you can do in person is actually connect. You do not have to talk constantly. If you want to reinforce a really big idea, it is quite okay to say it and leave silence. That is the end of the part of this talk, which is about uh, actually getting up and delivering your presentation to an audience. There's a little bit after this, which is just wrapping up the key ideas. Um, but if you only listen to this bit, good luck with your presentations, and I hope they go really well.